Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can withdraw money from your Qcoin wallet directly to your bank account. Um, and for the example of this video, we're going to be using the coin called Zilliqa. Um, if you're using any other coin, it's going to be very much the same process. Um, a couple of things that you need to know is that you won't be able to withdraw directly from Qcoin to your bank account. So what we're going to need to do first is transfer our coin from uh, Qcoin to another wallet. In this case, we're going to be using Coinbase. Um, if you don't have Coinbase, just choose a wallet where you can actually withdraw from your account, a wallet that actually has the ability to withdraw to your bank account. In this case, we're using Coinbase. Um, you know, if you have another wallet that you're using, the procedure is going to be very much the same. The whole point here is that we won't be able to withdraw directly to our bank account from Qcoin. So what we need to do is first send this coin to another wallet. Now, in another thing you need to know, in this example, we're using Coinbase. And um, because Coinbase does not support Zilliqa, the coin that we're going to be using today, um, what we need to do first is trade Zilliqa to Bitcoin or Ethereum. For this example, we're going to be using uh, Bitcoin. Again, if you're using a different wallet, uh, if the wallet does not support the coin that you're trying to withdraw, what you need to do first is the same procedure, which is essentially sell your Q coin or sell whatever coin you're using to, to Ethereum or Bitcoin, because those two coins, most likely 99% of the wallet of your choice is actually going to go ahead and accept it. So as again, as you can see here, we have Zilliqa and this, uh, what we're going to essentially do now is sell our Zilliqa for Bitcoin within uh, Qcoin. And then once we have it transferred to Bitcoin, we're going to go ahead and send it to our uh, wallet Qcoin, which will then be able to withdraw from the Qcoin wallet. So let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see here, we have main account and we have trading account. And in order for you to be able to sell your coin to Bitcoin or Ethereum, you need to go ahead and make sure you transfer it to your trading account. So to do that, what you want to do is uh, if you still have it in your main account, what you want to do to do is click on transfer right here. And as you can see here, it says we're transferring from main wallet to trading wallet. You can go ahead and put the exact amount that you want. We're going to go ahead and do the full amount and then go ahead and hit confirm. And once you do that, as you can see here, we don't have no more cute uh, Zilliqa in our main account, but we do have it in our trading account, $269, 3,041 uh, Q coins. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on markets. And essentially what we're doing now is we're trading our Zilliqa for Bitcoin. Um, again, you can trade it for, uh, you know, Ethereum if you'd like, but for this video, we're going to go ahead and trade it for Bitcoin. And uh, what you need to do next is you need to find your coin of choice. So as you can see here, we have all these different coins that we could sell for Bitcoin. Um, if you, if you, um, I have it already saved here in favorites, but if you don't just find it, your coin here, um, and then you'll be able to go ahead and sell it. So we'll click on favorites. And as you can see here, we have it saved already. So we'll click on Zilliqa slash BTC. And once you do that, um, you'll be directed to a screen that looks like this. Now, I already logged in, but you're going to need to input your uh, six digit login. So now we have Zilliqa slash Bitcoin. Now, what you need to do here is make sure you click on markets. So down here on the bottom, we'll need to have it on spot and then make sure you click on markets. And then once we click on markets over here, as you can see, we're going to sell uh, Zilliqa. Again, we're selling our Zilliqa for Bitcoin. So you could do, uh, you know, the exact amount, you could do 25%, 50%. We're going to just go ahead and do 100%. So as you can see here, we have 304 Zillicas, and we're basically going to sell this for Bitcoin. So once you have it on markets, and once you make sure you have it on Bitcoin or Zillica slash BTC, you're going to go ahead and click on sell Zillica. And once you sell it, as you can see here, we just got a notification. You have placed an order successfully. Market sells Zilliqa for Bitcoin. So now what you can do is you can go back here into your assets, right? So click on assets. And we'll basically be able to see that now we have 200 and I believe $69 worth of Bitcoin. So if we go ahead and we look at our trading account, you'll see here we have $266 of Bitcoin. Now, what we'll be able to do is send Bitcoin to Coinbase or to whatever wallet you're using, um, which then we'll be able to withdraw. So again, the reason we sold our Zilliqa or your coin of choice for uh, Bitcoin is because Coinbase does not support Zilliqa. So we needed to do this step first. Now that we have it here, um, as you can see, we have uh, our Bitcoin inside Qcoin. What we're going to do is go to our Coinbase 
a wallet. And again, if you're using a different a wallet, it's going to be very much the same. And we're going to go ahead and click on send slash receive. And by default, it's going to show send. Uh, what you need to do is click on receive and uh, be sure you're selecting the right cryptocurrency. Great. Okay. Uh, turn on instant transfers. Okay, great. So once we have this, it gives us our Bitcoin wallet. So as you can see here, now we have our Bitcoin wallet, right? You want to make sure, as you see the notification just said, you want to make sure that you're sending the right coin to the right wallet, right? Or the right coin to the right coin wallet. So if, let's say, for example, we go ahead and we send this Bitcoin to our Coinbase, but we choose, you know, the Ethereum uh, or any other coin, and you're actually going to lose all your money. So you want to make sure that the wallet that you have here is the actual wallet of the coin that you're sending. So this is my Bitcoin wallet. We're going to go ahead and copy it and we'll go ahead and come back here to Qcoin. And now that we have it, uh, now that we have it here, what we're going to need to do first is transfer it from our trading account to our main account in order to send it. And to do that, again, you just need to click on transfer. Um, you could here, you could choose the full amount. So we'll go ahead and choose full amount and then confirm. And now if we go back to our main account, you'll see that we have our Bitcoin here. Great. So now we have our Bitcoin in our main account which now we'll be able to go ahead and transfer. So when we go ahead and click on withdraw, right? As you can see here, it looks like we're withdrawing $266 worth of Bitcoin here. It'll tell us the wallet. So uh, go ahead and as you can see here, we copied this late, uh, our Bitcoin wallet from our Coinbase. We'll go ahead and paste that wallet here. And once we have it pasted here, it'll tell us to choose the network. Make sure you're choosing the right network for, for this. It's going to be Bitcoin. And over here, it tells us the amount. Choose what amount you want. We're going to go ahead and choose maximum. Great. And it tells us, as you can see, the fee here. It's quite high, but oh well. I'm making this video to give you guys a tutorial. Um, but as you can see here, we clicked on max. And this is the fee. Again, just make sure that you have everything correct. This is our wallet our bitcoin wallet from our coinbase so now what we're going to do is go ahead and click confirm so it says ensure that the address is uh, on the same network the transaction can't be canceled again we check that and we double check that this is our bitcoin wallet so go ahead and click confirm withdraw and again it's going to ask you for your password so we're going to go ahead and type that in and it's also going to ask you for your uh, verification code. So uh, we'll go ahead and click send verification. And then we'll basically go ahead and open up our email. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my email on my phone. And uh, let's see. So we have our verification right here. We'll go ahead and input that in here. 973. Uh, one two three and then you need your two-factor authentication code so we're gonna go ahead and look up our Google two-factor authentication code and then we'll go ahead and write that in here great right, and then submit and once you have submitted it as you can see it says successful now keep in mind that uh, it's gonna take anywhere between 15 to 45 minutes uh, but what you can do is you can actually go ahead and uh, open up your email so as we can see here, we just got an email uh, from Coinbase saying that we just received $237. Again, it was about 266 that we sent over, but with the fees, it came out to about 233, which is actually relatively cheap. So um, it won't be available right away, but we can go ahead and click on sign in to view transaction. And this will basically open up our Coinbase account and we'll be able to see that we have our assets in here. So as you can see here, because I, like I said, it takes anywhere from 15 to 20, uh, 15 to 45 minutes, it'll say that it's still pending. So as you can see here, we have $237. So we'll give it about 30 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll show you exactly uh, the fact that we have it here. And now that we'll be able to go ahead and exchange it to USD, which then we'll be able to cash out. So as soon as that it's done pending, I'll be right back and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. All right, you guys, so it's been about 45 minutes and uh, as you can see here, it says pending, but I believe now it's ready. So we'll go ahead and refresh this and we should be able to see that the money is ready for us. So let's go ahead and see. Perfect. So as you can see here, it says complete. Uh, so if we go to our assets, we will see that now we have $236. 
Uh, so the money that we just sent from our Q coin, the Bitcoin that we just sent from our Q coin to our Coinbase is now here. So now the question is, how do we go ahead and withdraw this money from our Coinbase to our bank account? So to do that, what we need to do is go ahead and click on buy slash sell. And as you can see here, default is going to show buy. We're going to go ahead and click sell. And as you can see, we need to first sell our Bitcoin to USD, right? To a USD coin. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, if you want to go ahead and send, uh, you know, sell the whole thing, you can click on sell all. You'll see here how much you have. If you want to just do a certain per, uh, certain amount, you could do that as well. But we're going to go ahead and sell the whole thing. Um, and as you can see here, the Coinbase fee is $3.50, which is really not that much. Um, so right now, when we go ahead and click sell now, it's basically going to sell our Bitcoin to USD. And now we'll basically have $231 in USD, right? So now what we need to do is go ahead and cash out. So what you do is basically click on your asset, which is the USD. As you can see here, it says cash out. We're going to go ahead and click on cash out all. And it says $231. We'll go ahead and click on continue. And I believe there is a small fee. So um, so actually, if you do it one to three business days, it's free. If you do it instant, it's going to be three dollars and forty seven cents. We're going to go ahead and do it instant. So we'll click on this and then we'll go ahead and click on continue. And as you can see here, it's going to tell you, do you want to cash out? So we'll get a total of two hundred and twenty seven dollars. So we'll go ahead and hit cash out. And it's done. So now we have just cashed out. We have basically cashed out two hundred and thirty one dollars. And that is basically how to go ahead and withdraw your cryptocurrency from Qcoin to your bank account. I know there's a lot of steps. Unfortunately, you can't do it from Qcoin. You got to do it directly from Coinbase. If you guys have any questions, I know this could be daunting for first time users. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'm more than happy to answer. Go ahead and like this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.